in one of the biggest cities in the world have a whole platform to myself. Look at that! There's literally no one here. Doesn't matter if you're a filmmaker or not, you've probably seen one of these on a set or in a picture and you probably thought, what is that and what does it do? I'm gonna show you. The first thing we need to do is break it down. This is a shotgun mic, which you probably own, or if you haven't, it's the best all-round microphone you can buy. And this is a blimp. Without this, this will sound awful outdoors. So I'm gonna head outdoors and show you the breakdown of how this all works. I'm just broken all down. Terrible, terrible tripod. Do not buy this tripod. Look at that wobble. I only tightened this up like two, two weeks ago. Oop. I see dead people. This is a blimp. So what this does is it stops the sound of the wind getting to the microphone and each layer adds on another defense basically. This is what you want if you're outdoors shooting quite a lot. It is a brilliant setup and you can have a time mic, they do just as good a job if they've got their own little windshield on. But these are brilliant and they're very directional. This is a Rode NTG3, highly recommend it. So as you can tell, if you move it around, then it's gonna make a bit of a difference as to what you hear. And you're gonna hear probably quite a lot of this. That's why when you hold a pole, you wanna keep your hands steady and wrap the cable round if you can, like this. But let's break it down and see what happens as we go through each stage. Now, like I say, it's not very windy, so my point's going to be muted, but this is still very good just on its own. Without this bit here, even if you just have the blimp, it'll do a really good job. What it's doing is creating a vacuum of air in between the microphone and the wind passing outside. Don't fall in, Aaron. Don't fall in the hole. That pocket of air is going to give you just that nice little bit of clean sound without that horrible sound that you get from the wind passing. So if I hold it up, you shouldn't really hear any wind anyway. I mean, there's no wind to hear today. Right, so you got the idea of the blimp and the dead cat. Let's look at breaking it down even more. I'm running out of pockets. So now, now we're getting back to our basic. This is wobbly. These are good for indoors. They create just that little bit of subtle protection from, I don't know, just anything kind of just moving the microphone. Because even if you just move the microphone fast, you're going to get a bit of wind sound. Outdoors on a windy day though, they're not going to do much. If only there was some wind to demonstrate this with. And last, this is what happens when you don't have any sort of protection on the microphone whatsoever. So you can see it doesn't take much for that to be unusable. And that's why you need a blimp if you're gonna be booming outdoors. It is a bit of an investment, but it's totally worth it. Otherwise you're spending all that money on a microphone that you're not gonna use. So I recommend get a blimp or some time mics or something that will work outdoors. That is what the fluffy thing is for. That is what that does. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>